so I, uh, I'm gonna tell you a story about a hike I had last week, but let's start off with a little anecdote. So about 21 years ago, but I, I lived in Nevada and a buddy and I were camped way out in the desert in a place called, uh, or outside a place called Hamilton, Nevada, which was an old mining town. And you know, it was pretty, it was just a ghost town. Uh, but there's a, a reservoir close by and that's where we were camped because you can fish there. And uh, there wasn't anybody there. It was along uh, Highway 50 in Nevada, which is the loneliest highway in America. So anyway, we're out there. We'd done our fishing and it was dusky and you know, we're sitting around the campfire and all of a sudden my buddy started to exclude, did you see that, did you see that? And I, I didn't know what he was talking about. I didn't see anything. I was looking down when he saw whatever he saw and I'm like, what was it? He, he saw, he said he saw these lights right above the mountain that along the uh, valley where we were. So like half mile from where we were. And he was like, his adrenaline was going, his blood was pumping, he was excited. And I never saw, I didn't see what he saw. A couple days later, he brought a newspaper article to me about how people had seen a UFO. And he was convinced that's what he saw. Now, if you look at a map, where we were was not that far in Nevada standards. It was not that far from Area 51. So, Maybe we saw something from there, I don't know. But in the course of human history, humans have had all these mythical creatures or monsters, and a lot of them are based on experiences of individuals. I'm gonna walk away here because my chickens are right there. And, uh, so, you know, there's the Loch Ness Monster, and there's the Krampus, and there's, um, here in the United States, the Native Americans had the Wendigo, and down in Louisiana, they have the, I think it's called the Rougarou, it's some sort of, I don't know how to say it, it's some sort of uh, werewolf. And on the East Coast, where I'm from, there's the New Jersey Devil that lives in the Pine Barrens. And then there's good old Sasquatch. And there's El Chupacabra. I wasn't going to record today, but man, it looks like there's a tornado in here or something like like these trees ain't close for cut not all of them but the trees just back a little bit like those over there were not cut and they're all laying they're all laying in that direction they're all over the place so i'm wondering if it's like a tornado it can be a tornado but straight line winds or something and then I don't know, I found a Sasquatch nest. I mean, it does look squatchy down here. That's definitely a Sasquatch nest. So I'm gonna keep my uh, eye out for the Squatch. person. Say it goes for it. What I don't want to do is have this little fucker running at me. 
because I don't want it on video of me screaming at the girl. I really can't tell what that is. I want to say a gopher, maybe a groundhog, whatever. There you are. Posing. Hello, my name is Dr. Reagan. Uh, I am a cryptozoologist uh, here in California. I wanted to thank you, Scott, for sending through uh, the footage uh, evidence of El Chubacabra. Um, this uh, information you have gathered is uh, very, uh, very unique um, and very, uh, um, in, in, you know, in inducive of uh, El Chubacabra sightings. Uh, these are happening more and more around the country. I've studied over a thousand uh, potential cases of El Chubacabra. Um, this uh, nest, uh, which you say is a Sasquatch nest, of course, this is a common ploy of El Chubacabra uh, to lure in uh, potential victims uh, into a false sense of security. They stay there longer and look at the nest. Uh, also with the trees, uh, this is part of a way of their marking their territory, uh, but also to mimic a natural event uh, so that uh, potential prey, as you know, they are an alpha predator, uh, potential prey will come into this area and linger longer. Um, this uh, juvenile El Chubacabra, which you have seen, uh, I believe you are lucky to have uh, escaped with your life. Uh, clearly, you were not scared uh, if you had been scared because, of course, they smell fear. And this juvenile, which uh, still has fur and his eyes are not yet red, uh, this, uh, this sighting... Uh, again, uh, some perhaps you will be hearing noises in the forest, um, and they do follow. Uh, they do follow victims uh, once they target you. Um, they may follow you until uh, you uh, have uh, no more blood. Uh, until such a time where they suck, uh, they suck your blood. Uh, so this is very common for them. And again, thank you for sending me uh, the footage. Uh, I wish you uh, all the best uh, with your life, really. Uh, yes. Thank you. You can't hear it. Gosh. I got the video on too late. I think they're... Can you hear it? I think the Chupacabra followed me. You hear the, the, the trees breaking? Gosh. I hope you guys can hear it. There it is again. I knew that little juvenile chupacabra was trouble. Oh, oh, jeez, jeez. Oh, jeez, did you guys see that? That was close.